Hello, business communication students. Wow, here we are at week 10. We're all at home, I imagine. It's raining today. We're quarantined. Good time to get some academic stuff done. So I hope you're all doing well, both physically and mentally. Hang in there. We're going to get through this. And I'm trying to provide you some good information to help you be successful with navigating through this course. So let's talk about week 10. We are currently at 265 points completed. There's a thousand points for the class total. So we're 26 and a half percent of the way done. Big ticket items, your final exam, your analytical report, and your video recording of your analytical report findings. So those are more than 50% of the grade and those are due towards the end of this semester. So week 10, week 10 we have graphics and uh, that's how to display numerical information using charts and uh, bar charts and pie charts and all the different ways you can use that which we do a lot of in business because it's easier for people to digest quantitative information in a visual format. So you have a quiz related to graphics. Check that out. There's a link to the study guide with that quiz. I believe it's 10 questions. It's 10 points. You have lots of time to get it done. And then you also have your second writing assignment, which is your persuasive letter. So this one's a little less prescriptive as far as steps involved than the bad news letter. But typically you want to follow the get their attention, build their interest, build their desire through appeals, logical and emotional appeals, and close with a call to action inviting the recipient to take the next step. Unlike a bad newsletter, with a persuasive letter, you do want to include your contact information. Basically give the recipient of the letter everything they need to execute and to take action to buy your stuff. So make sure you're writing to the correct target audience. So that is spelled out in the prompt. In the prompt, in the assignment, there is another video from me giving you more discrete information on how to be successful with this second writing assignment. So make sure you check out that video before you start tackling the assignment. You're writing a letter. You still want the seven parts of the letter and you're writing in block format, single space, space between paragraphs, no indented paragraphs. All right, so you have 180 minutes to complete that writing assignment and it's worth 60 points. Once we get past this week, week 10, and we go into uh, April 13th, week 11, at that point we'll be at 335 points, about a third of the way done. So make sure you're checking your status on grades. And any questions, reach out to me. You can either use the Canvas inbox, which is on the blue vertical menu bar in the far left of your Canvas screen, and send me a message. Or if you'd rather have a lengthier discussion, and frankly we talk faster than we type. Sometimes I prefer to have a live conversation. Text me and uh, we can set up a time to actually talk live. Or if it's a quick little small hit question, just send me a text message and I can respond that way. Don't voicemail me. Don't call me live on my phone because I'm going to assume you're a telemarketer. I'm going to ignore your number because I don't know who that number is. Text me, say your name, what class you're in, and then I can text back with either the answer or coordinating a time for us to talk live. Sound good? I appreciate all your work so far. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay sane, and reach out. I'm here to support you to get through this course. Uh, let's make this part of all this COVID stuff a win. So thank you for listening. Bye-bye.